Hey, welcome guys. In this video, we're doing a review of the Beats Solo 2 headphones, the wired version. Starting with the wire, it's measuring it at just roughly over 5 feet long. And of course, one side will fit into the headphones itself. Both sides of the wire are 3.5 millimeter and the straight end will connect into the headphones itself, whereas the other side will connect to your audio output device. In this example, I'm using the Galaxy 5 Note. And of course, you'll notice that the other end is an L shape. Now, in some situations, this will prevent the wire from bending if it's in a backpack or something, but for the most part, it's a pretty poor design choice, especially considering most people use their cell phone as an MP3 player, and it doesn't really felt well in the pocket, as you can see. Now, on the wire, on the side closest to where the headphones will be placed, is, of course, a volume control and microphone, as you can see, the hole is at the back for the microphone when making phone calls. It's placed about a few inches away from your mouth, not too close, not too far. And you have volume controls up and down for controlling your music volume. You have a middle red button, which is used for play, pause. And the call quality, in terms of speaking into the microphone, I've been told on the other hand that provides okay phone call quality. Now included in the box is this traveler's pouch, which I'm kind of disappointed with because it's very, well, cheap, I guess you could say. It feels and looks cheap for a few reasons. The first is that the material is used is like a clothy material, it's not too hard. So there's a fear that if you put in your backpack, for example, with some heavy objects, you might crush the headphones, it's not very protective at all. The other issue is just storing the wires is simply placed inside, there's no additional slot for cable management which can be cumbersome and annoying. And lastly, the final issue is of course, well the headphones do snap in so they become in a foldable compact design. But the issue is that they barely fit in the pouch. Every single time I have to put them in, it's a huge struggle. They kind of made the pouch size just with barely enough room to fit the headphones in there, so do expect to struggle with using the pouch. Now when it comes to the physical design, the Beats appeal is easily noticeable. These just kind of really just stand out. But I want to touch base on something more important here, and something that's really annoying, and that these are huge fingerprint magnets. It's kind of absurd how many fingerprints you'll get on this. And no, it's not like I just came from the gym and started touching them all over the place. It doesn't seem to matter the situation that this thing will attract fingerprints like crazy. So be warned about that. Now in terms of the general design, in terms of the comfort level and well, the way it fits, well, I'm going to touch base on the fact that it does provide a decent amount of flex, but at its rest position, it's really tight, which I'll get back to in more detail shortly. In terms of the extensions, you can extend them a fair amount, so it doesn't matter too much if your head size is well large, so not to be worried there. As I demonstrated earlier, they do kind of fold in for that traveler's pouch for easy portability. And of going to the top, you'll notice that there's kind of a rubber looking shape there. Now that rubber padding, it looks thick, but it's actually not. When you kind of press into it, it's not that thick. So people with not a lot of hair, just be warned, it's not exactly the most comfortable material. And the cuffs do not have a lot of rotation, which is poorly designed. Now these are on-ear headphones, your ears do not go inside the cups. And the cuffs themselves do have a lot of padding and cushioning, which it feels nice for a short period of time. Now remember, these are not designed to be noise-canceling headphones, but they do a surprisingly good job of it. So taking a quick peek at what they look like while on my ears, this is what they look like. And yes, from the left and right, it's easy to see that Beats logo. You're basically advertising Beats as you walk around, which some people might find to be, well, something they might be proud about. Now, as you can see that they, well, they're pretty stylish, and whether I'm wearing glasses, the comfort level is about the same. However, that comfort level is not really a good thing. You see, the issue that I mentioned earlier is that there's not a lot of flex at resting position. So my ears and a lot of other people that have tested them, well, they tend to mention that their ears get too hot over a short period of time. I do wish it was a bit more slack in terms of the way they rest, but they're kind of pushing in on your ears a bit too rough. The other issue is that when resting on your chin, you will notice that your chin can't really go down too easily because again, the headphones are clamping in too tight, which is kind of annoying. Taking this comparison over to my humongous over-the-ear $25 Sennheiser headphones, they're way more comfortable. For starters, it's because they're over the ear, but let's take that factor away because that's kind of being unfair. But notice that even at resting on my chin, there's a lot of gap here. I can easily place my head back down, move it left and right, because at the rest position, they're not flexing in, they're not clamping in too tight. Okay, but let's switch things over to how they perform in terms of sound quality. As you would expect, these headphones are designed to listen to music with a lot of bass, and I recommend you do not listen to Dr. Dre's Compton album, it's absolutely garbage. Instead, you're better off listening to Chronic 2001. Now these headphones, in terms of mids and highs, they perform pretty decent when the bass levels are 
Well, pretty low. The issue here is that when you push the bass up just a little bit more, well, the bass sounds fantastic. It sounds great, whether you're listening to rap, hip hop, dance music. But the problem is when you increase the bass, the mids and highs kind of get muffled out. You get a bit of a distortion and you're losing a bit of quality. So you're kind of sacrificing, do you want higher bass at the loss of mids and highs? Or do you want okay bass with some nice sounding mids and highs? Now let's take things just a little bit further when it comes to watching sitcoms or sports as you would expect the sound is great because not much to really well notice. When it comes to watching say action movies, it's okay. Again, these are designed primarily for listening to music with bass and the sound quality you get when playing an action movie kind of carries over to playing video games. The sound is okay, it's better than say $20 headphones, but don't expect much as again they are designed for music with heavy bass. So what do you really get when you wear and use the Beats Solo 2 headphones? Well, you're not getting the best sound, you're not getting the most comfortable headphones to wear, so what does it really specialize in? Well, they specialize in advertising its own brand name, Beats. Let's face it, if you see someone, a guy or girl, walking down the street with a different brand name headphones, unless you have a really good eye and you're looking out for it, you won't really know what brand of headphones they're wearing. Now, if you see someone wearing these headphones, it's easy to spot. Mids and highs do perform okay, but once you push the bass just a little bit high, which these headphones are designed for, the mids and highs kind of get muffled out. Another flaw, of course, is the physical design in terms of the resistance. Now, they do have a decent amount of flex. I mean, you can see them expand well beyond my head, so no one should have a football head like, what's that, Hey Arnold? Like that? So that's not an issue. It's just that the rest position, this is where they rest. So on your ears, they get pretty tight. You know, it's not uncomfortable, but they do get hot. That's the issue, and a lot of people will experience this. The other issue is that when resting just here, you can't really, you know, do much with your neck. So that's my review of the Beat Solo 2 headphones. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.